If your IPA is up high, it might be a turtle. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review, and here we have from Terrapin, a brew beer, and comp beer company in Athens, Georgia, Up High IPA, Citra Hopped IPA uh, Indiana Pale Ale. So, I've already checked into this one. I don't know why. I don't believe I've reviewed this. Hopefully, this is not a repeat. Ooh, man, it's got a nice, kind of a generic citrus aroma. Hint of something a little sharper. Now, Citra hops is very interesting because, especially when used in secondary, it gives great citrusy uh, flavors, but sometimes, depending on the backbone of the malts and things, can give a funkiness to it, which I found out the hard way when I used it in, uh, in the uh, World Class Bullshitters uh, 50th, not 50th anniversary, the 50,000 subscriber ale. So it had a funkiness I didn't want. So, this one's been sitting out while I'm getting ready because I was just slow as crap getting ready. But man, even the foam is a very much of a citrus bomb. It's kind of generic. No lemon, but definitely orange, hence the grapefruit. That is a nice citrus, citri, citrusy IPA. I don't want to say citry because it's citra. Um, up high, verb, a gesture in which two people simultaneously slap hands uh, in the celebration of receiving a terrapin up high citra hop IPA. So up high, um, capture the majestic citrusy hops that roll off your tongue, uh, like the white caps off an ocean wave. We've got white foam on top. Nice. And uh, sit and wonder, uh, I don't read the whole thing, it's just a marketing crap. It's not really anything informative, although they have a big wave right there. But that is nice, got a nice citrus flavor. And it has a very smooth finish. Not bitter. Supposedly 80 IBUs. Man, that's very smooth. So we have a nice orangey color, kind of a goldy orange, a little bit cloudy, a little bit of a chill haze. But it's not chewy, so it's not a juicy IPA. Now some of that is my glass. It's very humid today. We had storms all afternoon. Thank you, Ellie, for sharing your pleas with us. Man. Maybe because I've had it sitting out for a while and the malts have really opened up. But it has... About mid-mouth, it has hints of bitterness. It's a very smooth finish and very light. There's some lingering bitterness in the aroma. But at 80 IBUs, you would expect it to be harsher than it is, but it's very smooth. 5.9% uh, alcohol, so not a huge alcohol dill. So no booziness. It is well carbonated. That's a nice all-round IPA even with the citra added to give it. It doesn't have any funkiness from the citra, but it does have the generic citrus flavor. So you're gonna get some, you're gonna hit some orange, a little bit of, of let's say yellow grapefruit, not pink grapefruit, so not bitter, but kind of sweet. And uh, very nice finish, very well balanced. So if you're looking for a bitter IPA to have, say with something spicy, this isn't gonna foot the bill. But this would enhance some kind of fruit salads. It would enhance some lighter fare. Um, you could still do a standard, you know, fare with cheeseburger and stuff, but I think that's going to be a little heavy. This really needs a lighter. This is like this is like grilled salmon or tilapia or black and black and shrimp, black and tilapia or salmon. Uh, but that kind of fare, kind of a lighter meat, uh, maybe even tofu if you're into that kind of slightly grilled or broiled or pan seared but I wouldn't go real heavy on uh, the, the, the food with this. This is a very light and delicate aroma and flavor and you want to kind of pair that up with a lighter flavor food. But very nice. Now I've previously given this a four um, with one check-in and I, I'm going to stand by that. To me this is a four out of five. Nothing to write home about. Nothing really overpowers you. It's a nice good IPA. 
Hard to believe it's 80 IBUs according to Untapped because it's so smooth. And I don't, this is, it's really fizzy. And uh, like I said, it's been open a while. 5.9, it doesn't have the IBU rating on the can. Nope. Uh, 265 Newton Bridge Road. But uh, five point, it does say 5.9% alcohol on the can. Pack in and pack out. Very important. All these go in the recycle bin when we're done with them. Rinse them out first though so they don't get sticky. That's really so the recycle bin outside doesn't attract flies and, and bees and all that other stuff. But so, four out of five. Do you like this? Have you had the Up High from Terrapin Brewing? Do you like it? Do you not like it? It's too citrusy, not citrusy enough, not funky enough from the Citra Hops. Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for stopping by. Thanks so much for sharing all these things, and we get more and more people on YouTube and BitChute. It's exciting, and we'll see you next time. Oh, shit. All right, let's see if my head's cut off or not. We're ready to rock and roll. Schmeckord, dizzy gecko.